More than 17 years after the fact, the jury in the 1993 murder of former OUC student Jennifer Cusworth has begun hearing the evidence. In its opening statement, the Crown says that the accused, Neil Snelson and Cusworth, were at the same Richter Street house party before she disappeared. According to the Crown, it was Jennifer's uncle who dropped her off at this house where her friends stayed. They drank a bit, they chatted a bit, then they decided to go to a bar. They went to the bar where it was announced that there was a party happening here. Several people showed up, including Jennifer, who was intoxicated by this time. Her friends were looking out for her, and according to their friends, the last time they saw Jennifer, she came out to the front lawn, then she went back inside, and then suddenly she disappeared. And that was the last time that anybody saw Jennifer Cusworth alive. Cusworth's body was found in this swamp road ditch. She had been strangled, but the Crown says she died from a blow to the back of the head with a blunt object. It was also revealed that investigators found semen in Cusworth. The Crown says it belongs to the accused. Nelson doesn't deny that he was ever at the party. In fact, he says he met two women here. One he fooled around with, the other he had full intercourse with. However, he says he never saw Jennifer Cusworth. In fact, he says he's never met her in his life. Through a warrant, police obtained a blood sample from Snelson, who was questioned by police at least two times before being arrested. The Crown says that prior to his arrest, police had been following Snelson and that the accused was aware that he was under surveillance. The trial is scheduled for four weeks. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.